Hi all, here's a, just a really quick, probably completely unprofessional video about um, to show you how I use Microsoft OneNote to uh, share documents with my students and basically use it as a scrapbook for my class. I can't stand Google Classroom. However, I do use Google for um, my assessments. So um, there's another thing on my website to show you how to do that. But let's go in into this. This is my um, Microsoft login. So you need to log into your Microsoft account. And I've already logged in. So you will use your school email and password. You have uh, Microsoft accounts and Google accounts through schools. All schools in New Zealand do. So here we go. Here's my OneNote. And I just click on that. Now I create my notebook, notebooks in OneNote first, that way I know where they are. So I'm going to create a new notebook here, new, and um, I can call it demo, and then create. Now, so this is the online version and I'll show you how to get to the app version later so you can access it even if you're not online. Um, if it ever creates it. Okay, here we go. Right, so that's what it, it looks like now. Um, and I can just open an app. So I can go up here and open an app because then it looks way better. Open one note. Okay, now I've actually um, just been in a year 11 notebook, so that's what you can see behind there. This one now is just opening my new one that I created. It's going very slow. This is like ultra super fast um, internet. Yep, right. Okay, so there's my new notebook here, demo. And um, you could see before that it was syncing um, with, my, with the cloud. So that's the name of the notebook here. And now I can add anything to it. So these are sections like manila folders. So I can just right click, rename, and then blah, blah, blah. That's the name of the folder. And then within that folder, I have pages. So this is going to be page one, whatever, page one. Right, and then I can just add another page or I can add another section. So think again, folder, manila folder, pages. Um, now, if I drop down here, I can get to all of my notebooks. Um, so let's have a look at my old year 11 one. This is an oldie. So this is how I organized it. These are all the folders there, and you can see they're set up for the achievement standards that are about to change. Um, now here I've got homework admin. So if we, I've clicked on that already, and you can see I've got my course calendar in there. And because I've got a, um, a touch screen, I can draw all over it. And I used to often project this on the screen and then we'd scribble all over it. And, um, and those scribbles saved and the students could see them as well. Um, homework, always had homework so the students could get home and see what they needed to do. So this is what I wanted them to do, da 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 da. And you can see there I've got some screen snips as well. I always had my a quick link to that calendar. I know it's there, but you know what students are like. It's easier if it's right in front of them. So again, they can just click back to that. My email address there from when I worked at Kitty for a while. Um, so that's what I wanted them to do that night. Now, so we've seen the course calendar as well. Lesson plans, I used to plan on... OneNote um, and it is so much easier because you can put links in there as you can see or I could put um, a document so you can see a document there um, and then I could just go in and click on it and then it would take me straight to that um, in class so I knew what I was doing. If a student was away that was easy they could see what we were doing that day so, so much better, so much easier. I've just got the weeks down the side. It comes up a bit messy, but I'd set up my tables and then um, and then I've just taken a sample here, um, blank out the days that I don't have them.
So that worked really well. Bit about plagiarism, you've seen that document before, no doubt. APA referencing I had in there. So again, this is all under my admin. Um, managed due dates for all your subjects. So I um, designed this up for them and they could download it and put all their subjects down there. That's on my website actually. Um, blending quotations, blah, 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 blah. Lots of stuff there. And then over on this left-hand side from here, as I said before, are the achievement standard notes. So if I look up here, I've got the achievement standard and I, you can just um, insert it here. Past exam papers, um, some exemplars. You can see it's just all a mess and I can just move those around. Oh, that's a, a, an exemplar from one of my old students, good old Eli. Um, an essay planner. Um, um, these Mr. Showman's lovely vidcasts, I think, the link to those when I belonged. They won't work anymore, obviously. Um, I did the wave, and there's a full audio book there that I found, and then there's the video, so I just put the link on there. Kids can watch that. Um, and then all a whole lot of stuff that I put in propaganda. So you can just find clips and things and put them in there. And then, you know, I sort of did a bit of teaching from this or I left it for the students to look at. Um, I had some questions here that I wanted them to do. These are wave notes, the big mother. Um, so you can see it's like a scrapbooky thing. Um, really, really easy to use. And I would often do um, put photos of, of things that run our walls or I could just make a new page and then I would just use my pen and do a talk and talk. So this would be up on the screen. Whoops, I've got my highlighter on, but never mind, do a Venn diagram. And then, you know, we can just do, 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 do. Um, and so that's coming up on the screen. The students are filling me um, and with ideas here. And then it's all on the OneNote ready to access. So blimmin' easy. It's fantastic. So I had those pages for all of my um, achievement standards. There's a photo of something that I had on the wall. Um, really, really handy things here. So um, I really suggest that you use this. It's so organized. It's so easy to use. Um, as I say, I use this for all my notes, my calendars, my planning. Um, and then I just share it with the students so they can access their Microsoft again through their school um, email and passwords. And then... Um, yeah, and then I use the Google Drive to and set up folders for each of them, which I share to them. Um, and there's notes on my website about how to do that. Um, and I do that for um, their assessments and, and things that they are working on. So you can see there's a video in here. Um, and the cool thing about it is that when you when you if you take a screen snip or copy and paste something from another website or somewhere else on your computer, it will give you the link to show you where that came from. So you can always find it again. So fantastic. And then, oh, look, thinking tools. So I had a few things there that we used to, don't know what's happened there, um, we used to use. So um, I say we used to because I've had a year out of teaching now. So um, that was just so brilliant. Um, thoroughly recommend. Hope this is of help to you.